Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mathusiasm. A circle is inside a rectangle. Four line segments are drawn from the center of the circle to the vertices of the rectangle. The lengths of the line segments from these vertices to the circle are 15, 8, 20, and 24. Find the radius of the circle. Let's start with proving an important theorem, which is called the British Flag Theorem. It helps us solve the problem easily, and it has wide applications. Next, we will use it to derive a general formula. It has some interesting results. Finally, we will use it to get the radius of the circle. First of all, we shall prove British Flag Theorem. I will talk about the name in a second. But now, let's look at the statement. O is a point inside the rectangle A, B, C, D. The lengths of OA, OB, OC, and OD are small letters A, B, C, D respectively. The theorem states that A squared plus C squared is equal to B squared plus D squared. It is surprising that this theorem can be proved easily by basic tools. Let's construct two line segments EG and FH. They pass through the point O, such that EG is parallel to BC and AD, and FH is parallel to BA and CD. Therefore, we have a couple of right angles. Now, can you imagine that this figure looks like the British flag? For convenience, let's label the lengths of the sides as W, X, Y, and Z. Then, we can apply Pythagoras theorem in four triangles. In triangle OAE, W square plus X square is equal to A square. Let's call this equation 1. In triangle OBF, W square plus Y square is equal to B square. Let's call this equation 2. Likewise, in triangle OCG, Y square plus Z square is equal to C square. We call this equation 3. Lastly, in triangle ODH, x squared plus z squared is equal to d squared. Let's call this equation 4. Can you see any pattern behind? Let's add up equation 1 and equation 3. Then we'll have w squared plus x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to a squared plus c squared. We call this equation 5. We do the same for equation 2 and equation 4. Therefore, w square plus x square plus y square plus z square is equal to b square plus d square. Let's call this equation 6. Comparing these two equations, the left hand side are the same. So the right hand side should be equal. That is, a square plus c square is equal to b square plus d square. This completes the proof of the theorem. Now, we go back to our original problem. We use the letters a prime, b prime, c prime, and d prime to denote the points of intersection of the line segments and the circle. Let the lengths of line segment outside the circle be a prime, b prime, c prime, and d prime. The radius of a circle is r. Using the same notation of a, b, c, and d, we have a is equal to a prime plus r, b is equal to b prime plus r c is equal to c prime plus r, and d is equal to d prime plus r. Now, we can apply British flag theorem, putting all this into the equation like this. So the rest of the job is just algebra. We expand all the perfect square terms. To simplify the equation, we can cancel out 2r squared on both sides. Then we have much less terms to handle. Let's put all the terms with r together. The four square terms are put on the other side. You see, there's a common factor 2R on the right hand side. Let's take it out. Then to find the radius of the circle, we divide 2 and this bracket to the left hand side. However, it should be non-zero, otherwise it is undefined. Now we get a general formula. R is equal to A prime square plus C prime square minus B prime square minus D prime square all over 2 times bracket b prime plus d prime minus a prime minus c prime. Great! 
But does this formula always make sense? Both numerator and denominator involve subtractions, so they may be positive or negative. For a real circle with positive value of r, then either both of them are positive or both of them are negative. In other words, we cannot randomly choose the length of the four sides. This is an essential condition to apply the formula. Now, we put the values of a prime, b prime, c prime, and d prime into the formula. Then, the radius of the circle is equal to 5 over 2. Go check out other interesting questions of geometry. The link is on the screen. I will see you there.